And you're about to see the 50th video of the Game Changers in Agriculture. I'm here to tell you just how excited I have been about this series and the great job that our crew has done on it. But more importantly, seeing what's happening in Ontario agriculture. Innovation is alive and well. It's coming from individual farms, farm families, right through to high-end university research. And you know, you've, there are 50 companies that are now showcased on this video, and these videos are going around the world, and the sales are going around the world. The other thing I emphasize is all of these companies are thinking globally, not just Ontario. I'm proud to turn the reins over to Tyler Whale. I think he's going to do a great job, and I hope you continue to watch this series. Thank you. In this 50th Game Changer video, we head to Jake Cranbrink's farm in Moorfield, Ontario. Jake's company, Agribrink, has developed the next evolution in air inflation deflation systems for farm machinery. We're here, we're standing beside a tractor we have pulling a tanker that has an automatic air inflation deflation system. And the exciting thing about this is when we pull into the field in 30 seconds, we can deflate the tires and so increase the footprint by 60% and reduce compaction. Roots from a plant have to be able to penetrate into the ground to get the, the nutrients that are there. When we compact the soil, it can become like concrete. Well, you cannot grow any type of crop into, into hard soil or concrete. We need like loose soil. And so when we go in with a heavy equipment, we are compacting that soil. In 30 seconds, we can deflate these tires as the farmer drives into the field from the seat of the tractor cab and we have an increase of footprint about 60%. With a 60% increase in footprint, we have a lot more area that the, the weight is distributed as we travel in the field and we do a lot less damage. Okay, I like to explain here how our control box works in the cab. You'll see there's, uh, there's different buttons here. That's only needed, we set the parameters of the tire pressure at the start of the season or whenever we change tires. So we set the high, low, medium and low positions in there and then none of this needs to really be touched. The operator is driving, he engages his compressor with the hydraulics and he drives to the field. He's turning, driving into the field, he needs to deflate the tires. He just hits this switch here, the toggle switch on the right. I can feel the toggle switch in the up medium and low position so I'm entering the field I can hit the switch with my fingers I know the tires are deflating I go and do my function in the field when I go to leave the field I'll, I'll just inflate the tires by pushing the switch up again on this particular tire we need to be 35 psi on the road and that's when you're traveling at 40 k down the road we can get it down to 15 k or 15 psi in the field that is the tires designed for that because we're going 10 kilometers an hour. What many farms are doing, they'll say, okay, I, I don't want to be 40 PSI. I can't be at 15 because I'll destroy the tire. I'm going to go 24, 23 PSI. So they're, they're taking that top end off, but they're not going down that low. What happens, your tire life is, is reduced significantly. You don't, you don't get the efficiency of fuel consumption because soft tire takes much more horsepower and fuel to pull down the road. This also helps to reduce fuel uh, consumption because a tire does not have to climb out of the soil. It is, spreads its weight over and glides over the soil. And we'll save 15% on fuel. Also, another advantage is that we, um, the tires are actually being used for what they're designed. They inflate, deflate to the, the speed and weight that they're designed to be used for. To our best of our understanding, the systems out there, they're mostly two minutes or longer to deflate. And that makes our system very appealing to, to, uh, to farmers to, to buy because of the quickness of the deflation sign. So we worked with them to uh, flash out the business model, find the right uh, suppliers for the components. And uh, then we moved on to help uh, find a, a company to help them redesign the product for entry into the European market. So uh, he's uh, got a good opportunity. It's uh, um, better than anything we've seen in the market to date. 
the benefits in terms of uh, preventing soil compaction with the implements in the field is uh, pretty much obvious to most farmers. So uh, yeah, it's a good project. Glad to see it moving forward. Well, we're pretty happy to be involved in this project because at Ontario Park, we believe that manure is the best product to use to fertilize crops. And manure should be put on crops when the crops can use it. And this usually involves applying manure in the spring. And if we can get on the ground a little bit earlier to provide a little bit wider window, then this will help farmers greatly, I believe. So what I love about this technology is it's, uh, it's a technology developed by farmers in Ontario with the help of his friends and family. And it's a technology that has global application for the sustainability of agriculture. Everywhere they drive tractors and heavy machinery in soil has soil compaction issues. So this is, Jake has opportunities worldwide starting in Holland. He's got seven units sold in Ontario and this is just the beginning for this technology which is, is the world's best right now. I, uh, I can envision this technology becoming a, a real part of, of North America because uh, the North America farmer has gotten bigger and has gotten to travel greater distances from farm to farm. And so the need is there. There's more uh, study done on compaction. Pioneer came out, Pioneer City came out with a, with a documentation just a little while ago that said the, one, the number one yield robber was compaction. So there's going to be more emphasis put on how do we reduce compaction. So North America is a big number a market that hasn't seen it. The European market is, is also exciting because they understand the compaction. They understand what the deflation e inflation system will do. And the only edge that we would have is because our system is quicker than the systems they presently have. So we feel there's an opportunity there as well. Mm -hmm.